Dragut was an Ottoman Greek admiral and privateer who also served as Bey of Algiers, Bailey B of the Mediterranean, and First Bey, later, Pasha, of Tripoli. Under his naval command the Ottoman Empire's maritime power was extended across North Africa. When Turgut was serving as Pasha, he adorned and built up the city of Tripoli, making it one of the most impressive cities along the North African coast. Early career Turgut was an Ottoman seaman of Greek descent. He was born in a village near Bodrum, on the Aegean coast of Asia Minor. He was captured and taken prisoner by the Corsairs in his youth and had converted to Islam. He was born in the sub-district called Saravalos in the western tip of Bodrum Peninsula and most probably in the Karabag village on the Aegean coast of Asia Minor. At the age of 12 he was noticed by an Ottoman army commander for his extraordinary talent in using spears and arrows and was recruited by him. Under his support the young Turgut became a skilled sailor, an outstanding gunner, and was trained as a cannoneer and master of siege artillery, a skill which would play an important role in Turgut's future success and reputation as a superb naval tactician. The Ottoman Turkish governor eventually carried Turgut off to Egypt in 1517, where he participated in the Ottoman conquest of Egypt as a cannoneer. He further improved his skills in this field during his presence in Cairo. Following the death of his master, Turgut went to Alexandria and began his career as a sailor after joining the fleet of Sinar Reis. He immediately became one of the favorite crewmen of the famous Corsair due to his success in hitting enemy vessels with cannons. Turgut soon mastered the skills of seamanship and became the captain of a brigantine, while given one quarter of its ownership. After several successful campaigns, he became the sole owner of the brigantine. Turgut later became the captain and owner of a galliot, and arming it with the most advanced cannons of that period. He started to operate in the eastern Mediterranean, especially targeting the shipping routes between Venice and the Aegean Islands belonging to the Republica Serena Sima. In 1520 he joined the fleet of Hayred and Barbarossa, who would become his protector and best friend. Turgut was soon promoted to the rank of chief lieutenant by Barbarossa and was given the command of twelve galleots. In 1526 Turgut race captured the fortress of Capo Passaro in Sicily. Between 1526 and 1533 he landed several times at the ports of the Kingdom of Sicily and the Kingdom of Naples, while intercepting the ships which sailed between Spain and Italy, capturing many of them. In May 1533, commanding four Fustus and eighteen Bucks, Turgut race captured two Venetian galleys near the island of Aegina. In June and July 1538 he accompanied Barbarossa on his pursuit of Andrea Doria in the Adriatic Sea, while capturing several fortresses on the coasts of Albania as well as the Gulf of Preveza and the island of Lefkada. In August 1538 Turgut race captured Candia in Crete as well as several other Venetian possessions in the Aegean Sea. Battle of Preveza. In September 1538, with 20 galleys and 10 galleots, Turgut race commanded the center rear wing of the Ottoman fleet that defeated the Holy League under the command of Andrea Doria at the Battle of Preveza. During the battle with two of his galleots, he captured the papal galley under the command of Jean Battista Dovizi the knight who was also the abbot of Bibiena, taking him and his crew as prisoners. In 1539, commanding 36 galleys and galleots, Turgut Reis recaptured Castel Nuovo from the Venetians, who had taken the city back from the Ottomans. During the combat he sank two Venetian galleys and captured three others. Still in 1539, while landing on Corfu, he encountered twelve Venetian galleys under the command of Francesco Pasqualigo and captured the galley of Antonio da Canal. He later landed at Crete and fought against the Venetian cavalry forces under the command of Antonio Calbo, governor of Jabar. Later that year, when Sinar Race, the governor of Jabar, was appointed by Suleiman the Magnificent as the new commander-in-chief of the Ottoman Red Sea fleet based in Suez. 
Turgut Reis was appointed as his successor and became the governor of Jabar. In early 1540 Turgut Reis captured several Genos as ships off the coast of Santa Margarita Liga. In April 1540, commanding two galleys and thirteen galleots, he landed at Gozo and sacked the island. He later landed at Pantelleria and raided the coasts of Sicily and Spain with a force of 25 ships inflicting so much damage that Andrea Doria was ordered by Charles V to chase him with a force of 81 galleys. From there, Turgut Reis sailed to the Tyrrhenian Sea and bombarded the southern ports of Corsica, most notably Palasca. He later captured and sacked the nearby island of Capraia. Captivity and Freedom Turgut Reis later sailed back towards Corsica and docked his ships at Girolata on the western shores of the island. Taken by surprise in the Battle of Girolata while repairing his ships, Turgut Reis and his men were attacked by the combined forces of Giannettino Doria, Giorgio Doria and Gentile Virginia Orsini. Turgut Reis was captured and was forced to work as a galley slave in the ship of Giannettino Doria for nearly four years before being imprisoned in Genoa. Barbarossa offered to pay ransom for his release but it was rejected. In 1544, when Barbarossa was returning from France with 210 ships sent by Sultan Suleiman to assist King Francis I in a Franco-Ottoman alliance against Spain, he appeared before Genoa, laying siege to the city and forcing the Genoese to negotiate for the release of Turgut Reis. Barbarossa was invited by Andrea Doria to discuss the issue in his palace at Fasolo, and the two admirals reached an agreement for the release of Turgut Reis in exchange of 3,500 gold ducats. Barbarossa gave Turgut his spare flagship and the command of several other vessels and in that same year Turgut Reis landed at Bonifacio in Corsica and captured the city, inflicting particular damage to Genoza interests. Still in 1544 he assaulted the island of Gozo and fought against the forces of Knight Giovanni Zimenez while capturing several Maltese ships which were bringing precious cargo from Sicily. In June 1545 he raided the coasts of Sicily and bombarded several ports on the Tyrrhenian Sea. In July he ravaged the island of Capraia and landed at the coasts of Luguria and the Italian Riviera with a force of 15 galleys and Fustis. He sacked Monterosso and Cornelia, and later landed at Manarola and Rio Maggiore. In the following days he landed at the Gulf of La Spezia and captured Rapallo, Pelli and Levanto. In 1546 he captured Mardia, SFAX, Sus and Al Munastir in Tunisia, afterwards using Mardia as a base to assault the Knights of St. John in Malta. In April 1546 he raided the coasts of Luguria. In May, still in Luguria, he captured La Geglia, a province of Savona, with a force of 1,000 men. He later captured Andra and took the podesta of the town as a prisoner. There he and his troops rested for a brief period, before resuming their assault on the Italian Riviera and landing at San Lorenzo al Mare. He also destroyed the village of Siveza. From there he once again sailed towards Malta and laid siege to the island of Gozo. In June 1546 Andrea Doria was appointed by Emperor Charles V to force Turgut Reis away from Malta, and Doria based his forces at the island of Favignana. The two admirals, however, did not meet up, as Turgut Reis had sailed to Toulon in August 1546 staying there for several months and letting his men have some rest in the security of a French port, commander-in-chief of Ottoman naval forces in the Mediterranean. After Barbarossa's death in July 1546, Turgut succeeded him as supreme commander of Ottoman naval forces in the Mediterranean. In July 1547 he once again assaulted Malta with a force of 23 galleys and galleots. After hearing the news that the Kingdom of Naples was shaken by the revolt against Viceroy Don Pietro of Toledo, which would make a naval support from there to Malta rather unlikely, Turgut Reis landed his troops at Marsa Sirocco, the extreme southern point of the island which faces the shores of Africa. 
From there the Ottoman troops quickly marched towards the vicinity of the Church of Santa Caterina. The guards of the church tower escaped as soon as they saw the forces of Turgut race, which prevented them from igniting the tub of gunpowder, a common method used then to warn the local inhabitants of attacks. After sacking the island, Turgut race headed towards Capo Passaro in Sicily, where he captured the galley of Giulio Sicala, son of Duke Vincenzo Sicala. He later sailed to the Aeolian Islands, and at Salina Island he captured a Maltese trade ship with valuable cargo. From there he sailed to Apulia and towards the end of July 1547 he assaulted the city of Salve. He later sailed to Calabria, forcing the local population to flee towards the safety of the mountains. From there he went to Corsica and captured a number of ships. Bailey of Algiers in 1548 he was appointed Bailey of Algeria by Suleiman the Magnificent. In that same year he ordered the construction of a quadrireme galley at the naval arsenal of Jabar, which he started using in 1549. In August 1548 he landed at Castellamed, Istabia on the Bay of Naples and captured the city along with nearby Pozzuoli. From there he went to Procida. A few days later, he captured a Spanish galley loaded with troops and gold at Capo Misena near Procida. In the same days he captured the Maltese galley, La Caterinetta, at the Gulf of Naples, with its cargo of 70,000 gold ducats which were collected by the Knights of St. John from the Churches of France with the aim of strengthening the defences of Tripoli, which was then under Maltese control. In May 1549 he set sail towards Liguria with 21 galleys and in July he assaulted Rapaglio, later replenishing his ships with water and other supplies at San Fratuoso. From there he sailed to Portofino and landed at the port before appearing at San Remo where he captured an Aragonese galley from Barcelona which was heading towards Naples. From there he first sailed towards Corsica and later towards Calabria where he assaulted the city of Parma. In February 1550, sailing with a force of 36 galleys, he recaptured Mardia along with Al Munastir, Sousse and most of Tunisia. In May 1550 he assaulted the ports of Sardinia and Spain and landed on their coasts with a force of 6 galleys and 14 galleots. Still in May he unsuccessfully tried to capture Bonifacio in Corsica. On his way back to Tunisia, he stopped at Gozo to replenish his ships with water and to gather information on the activities of the Maltese knights. He later sailed towards Liguria. In June 1550, while Turgut race was sailing near Genoa, Andrea Doria and bailiff Claude de la Sengel of the Maltese knights attacked Mardia in Tunisia. In the meantime, Turgut race was busy assaulting and sarking Rapala for a third time, before raiding the coasts of Spain. He then sailed to the Tyrrhenian Sea and towards the beginning of July landed at the western shores of Sardinia, before returning to Jabar, where he learned that Doria and Claude de la Sengel had been attacking Mardia and Tunis. He collected a force of 4,500 troops and 60 Saipais and marched on Mardia to assist the local resistance. He did not succeed and returned to Jabar with his troops. In September 1550 Mardia surrendered to the joint Spanish-Sicilian Maltese force. In the meantime, Turgut Race was repairing his ships at the beach of Jabar. On October, Andrea Doria appeared with his fleet at Jabar and blocked the entrance of the island's lagoon with his ships, trapping the beached galleys of Turgut Race inside the channel of Cantera. Turgut Race had all his ships dragged overland through hastily dug canals and on a heavily greased board way to the other side of the island and sailed to Constantinople, capturing two galleys on the way, one Genoza and one Sicilian, which were en route to Jabar in order to assist the forces of Doria. Prince Abu Bekr, son of the Sultan of Tunis, who was an ally of Spain, was on the Genoza galley. After arriving in Constantinople, Turgut Race, authorized by Sultan Suleiman, mobilized a fleet of 112 galleys and two galleasses with 12,000 janissaries. 
and in 1551 set sail with the Ottoman admiral Sanar Pasha towards the Adriatic Sea and bombarded the Venetian ports, inflicting serious damage on Venetian shipping. In May 1551 they landed on Sicily and bombarded the eastern shores of the island, most notably the city of Augusta. As revenge for the viceroy of Sicily's role in the invasion and destruction of Mardia, where most inhabitants had been massacred by the joint Spanish-Sicilian Maltese force, they then attempted to capture Malta, landing with about 10,000 men at the southern port of Marsa Musciata. They laid siege to the citadels of Burgu and Sengli, and later went north and assaulted Amdina, but lifted the siege after realizing that it was impossible to capture the island with the number of troops in hand. Instead, they moved to the neighboring island of Gozo, where they bombarded the citadel for several days. The knight's governor there, Galatian de Ressese, realizing that resistance was futile, surrendered the citadel, and the corsairs sacked the town, taking virtually the entire population of Gozo into captivity. Turgut and Sanar set sail from the port of Mgarr Ixchini in Gozo and headed towards Libya, where they shipped the captives to Tahunawar M. Salata. They later sailed towards Tripoli with the aim of conquering the strategic port city and its environs, Sanjak Bay of Tripoli. In August 1551 Turgut race attacked and captured Tripoli which had been a possession of the Knights of St. John since 1530. Gaspar de Villers, the commander of the fort, was captured, along with other prominent knights of Spanish and French origin. However, upon the intervention of the French ambassador in Constantinople, Gabriel de Aramon, the French knights were released. A local leader, Argamurat, was initially installed as governor of Tripoli, but subsequently Turgut himself took control of the area. In recognition of his services, Sultan Suleiman awarded Tripoli and the surrounding territory to Turgut, along with the title of Sanjak Bay. In September 1551, Turgut Ray sailed to Liguria and captured the city of Taja, before capturing other ports of the Italian Riviera, after Ottoman troops landed at the beach of River Trigaso. Later that year, he returned to Tripoli and sought to extend his territory, capturing the entire region of Misrata all the way to Zuwara and Jabar to the west. Turning inland, he enhanced his territory until reaching Gebel, disambiguation needed, Battle of Ponza and campaigns in the West Mediterranean. In 1552 Sultan Suleiman appointed Turgut race commander-in-chief of the Ottoman fleet which he dispatched to Italy. Turgut race first landed at Augusta and Lycata in Sicily, before capturing the island and castle of Pantelleria. In July 1552 he landed at Taumina and later bombarded and disabled the ports on the Gulf of Policastro. He later landed at Parma and captured the city, before sailing to the Gulf of Naples in order to meet with the other branch of the Ottoman fleet under the command of Sanar Pasha and the French fleet under the command of Pauline de Lagarde. After arriving at the meeting location, Turgut race anchored his ships off the beach of Skori, near Formia, where he met with the fleet of Sanar Pasha, but their French ally did not show up in time. After waiting for several days, Sanar Pasha decided to return to Constantinople, following an order by Suleiman to do so in case of a delay or postponement of the meeting. Turgut race convinced Sanar Pasha to join him, and their combined fleet bombarded various ports of Sardinia and Corsica, before capturing the island of Ponza. From there the Turkish fleet sailed towards Lazio and bombarded the ports belonging to the Papal States and the Kingdom of Naples. Even though Henry II had guaranteed the Pope that the Ottoman fleet would not damage the Vatican's possessions, Due to bad weather, however, Turgut Reis and Sanar Pasha sailed back to the Gulf of Naples and landed at Massalou Brents and Sorrento, capturing both towns. They later captured Pozzuoli and the entire coastline up to Minterno and Nola. In response, Andrea Doria set sail from Genoa with a force of 40 galleys and headed towards Naples 
When the two fleets first encountered off Naples, Turgut Reis managed to capture seven galleys, with Colonel Madratzi and many German soldiers of the Holy Roman Empire on board. The two fleets later went southwards, where, on 5 August 1552, Turgut Reis defeated the Spanish-Italian fleet under Andrea Doria at the Battle of Ponza, Bailey B of the Mediterranean. Following this victory, Suleiman appointed Turgut Bailey B of the Mediterranean Sea. In May 1553 Turgut Reis set sail from the Aegean Sea with 60 galleys, captured Croton and Castello in Calabria, and from there marched inland. Later he landed on Sicily and sacked most of the island until stopping at Lycata for replenishing his ships with water. Afterwards he assaulted Chiaca and Modica in southern Sicily. From there he went to the island of Tavalara and to Sardinia, later headed towards Porto Ercole and landed on the coast, before setting sail towards Elba, where he captured Marciana Marina, Rio and Capolivari. From there he sailed to Corsica and took Bonifacio and Bastia on behalf of France, then ally of the Ottoman Empire, which paid him 30,000 gold ducats for the expense of ammunition in the conquest. Leaving Corsica, Turgut Reis returned to Elba and attempted to capture Piombino and Portoferraio, but eventually gave up and captured the island of Pianosa and recaptured the island and castle of Capri before returning to Constantinople. In 1554 he sailed from the Bosphorus with 60 galleys and passed the winter in Chios. From there he sailed to the Adriatic Sea and landed at Vies near Foggia, capturing and sacking the city. He then sailed towards Dalmatia and bombarded the port of Ragusa, capital of the Maritime Republic of Ragusa. In August 1554 he landed at Orbetolo and raided the coasts of Tuscany. The following year, in July 1555, he landed at Capo Vaticano in Calabria, and from there marched to Ceramica and San Lucido, bombarding these cities, before capturing Parola and Santo Noceto. He then sailed to Elba and captured the city of Populonia before assaulting Piombino. From there he sailed to Corsica and ransacked Bastia, taking 6,000 prisoners. He later assaulted Calvi before setting sail towards Sardinia and bombarding the ports of that island. From there he turned towards Liguria and landed at Ospedaletti, capturing the city and the coastline around it. He later landed at San Ramo before returning to Constantinople.